What's up guys, ViperFPV here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Loom Skids from the FPV Crate store. They actually included these in the FPV Crate box a while back, and uh, you can pick these up for about 10 bucks for the lighting kit and about $5 for the skids, and they have like green, blue, red, all that. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how to install these onto your quadcopter. All right, so I'm installing these on a already built quadcopter. Uh, this is actually my budget build, which I'll leave a link to this thing down below. It's a $120 budget build. It's really awesome. Check it out. But you need to go ahead and get yourself some loom skids, get yourself the lighting kit, and um, we're gonna be installing those on the bottom of the arms, like so. Um, so this is the lighting kit. This has like race wire, and then it has these little LEDs, like so. Going over some things you'll need, you need some Loctite to Loctite the motor wire, motor bolts back into the motor. Uh, you'll need some double-sided tape. Uh, you'll need some solder and also a soldering iron as well. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into uh, building this quadcopter. All right, so we're going to be installing these and cutting the pretty much the motor wires right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab out the race wire out of the bag. And then pretty much just put it up against to the arm and um, just cut the wire accordingly. It's better to leave it longer than shorter because you don't want to have a problem. And if you're doing this on a brand new build, then you don't really have to worry about that. You can just kind of just cut them to length and then install them where you want them on the arm. Um, so this is the LED. We'll need to go ahead and solder this onto um, the black and white wire. So we'll go ahead and zoom in here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pre-tin the little two pads. These are kind of a little difficult because they're really kind of small. Um, so just kind of be careful and just kind of just put, make sure you're putting the soldering iron onto the pad first, heating it up, and then putting the solder on. Um, and then getting yourself the wires and wiring it accordingly, red to positive and black to the negative side. Now I'm removing the motor bolts from the motor, as shown. Now what we're going to do is install the loom skid LED into the bottom of the skid. You kind of just got to push it in there and place it in there so it's flush and it's not touching the bottom. Um, you might want to maybe use a little screwdriver or something like that to get it in there. Then you just want to go ahead and lay the skid flush on the arm with the wires, stick it out like so. And I'm using some Loctite onto the bolts and I'm going to kind of put it in there to guide it and then I'm going to put the motor back on. And just make sure you don't tighten all the nuts until you're finished. All right, so now we have the bolts all tightened to the motor and we're gonna kinda just tuck those in the back. So we wanna have the wires to the loom skid towards the back and cut the wires off so just make sure that you have them out of the way or whatever way you see fit that best protects them um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the motor wires right here and uh, get this all lined up correctly um, now like I said before um, make sure that you leave these motor wires longer than shorter because you can always go back and trim them um, so that's what I'm kind of doing here. I'm kind of making it as long as the pad and then leaving a little bit extra and then I can just trim them up after I uh, soldered them up and have it kind of aligned correctly. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get these all cut up and then we can go ahead and pre-tin the pads on the um, race wire. Alright, so right here I'm going to get the double sided tape ready. I'm going to be cutting that to length according to the actual race wire. Um, as you can see, I'm doing that right now. Now, um, once I get that all done, I'm going to go ahead and get the shrink and we're going to cut it to length. And then after we have it cut to length, we're going to go ahead and um, kind of bunch it up here because this is on the existing build. I'm going to go ahead and have to bunch it up there to be able to get the race wire on there. Get our race wire, line it up correctly, and then we go ahead and solder it to the motor wires. Now we can go ahead and install the LED uh, wiring and we're just going to use the ground to the ground and then the positive or the red wire 
to the plus or positive wire uh, pad on the race wire. Then we can go ahead and do is we can slide then using a heat gun or a lighter or something, whatever you have laying around, uh, to go ahead and heat it up and shrink it all. That we cut to length, install it onto the race wire on the bottom and also onto the arm. Then we go ahead and do is we'll press that down and then we'll get some zip ties and secure it onto the arm and everything should be nice and tight and prevent anything getting loose in a crash. But that's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my affiliate links down below for these Luma skids, and um, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.